My testimony of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints stays strong and unbroken. My testimony in Jesus Christ remains strong, unmoved and unbroken. For he governs over the Church because it is his restored Church upon this earth. No one ever said salvation comes through man's law, therefore, your argument and whole video backfires upon yourself, God loves Mormons, because you have been falsifying information time and again. Salvation is through Jesus Christ and by achieving that, we must follow his commandments. Temple work and baptisms are his commandments not man's own commandments. There is a difference. Temples are the only places where some priesthood ordinances are authorized to be performed. These sacred ceremonies lift and inspire participants as they make commitments to follow the teachings and example of Jesus Christ. God loves Mormons, denies Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2. In the last days the mountain of the house of the Lord will be established as the chief of the mountains. It will be raised above the hills, and all. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2. So, in objective conclusion, God loves Mormons, has been debunked universally and objectively. Receiving temple ordinances and keeping covenants unites families together for eternity. It isn't the truth of what you speak of, God loves Mormons. It is rather, your truth. You're believing a lie. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born from water and of the Spirit, then he cannot enter thy kingdom of God. That is from the book of John chapter 3 verse 5. That's the absolute truth from the Bible speaking of baptisms. Temples have existed ever since the early Abrahamic faith. Therefore, temple work and baptisms are indeed important. In the first book of Peter verses 18 to 20, it spoke of the spirits in prison who were saved. That's speaking of the spirit world, the other side of the veil. I testify the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. I denounce all of you who reject baptisms because it's blasphemy towards the three members of the Godhead. God the Eternal Father, our Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Obedience by faith includes obeying His commandments and you've clearly denied that, yet you use Romans chapter 1 to 5 to debunk us Latter-day Saints. Push off. You can't win this because you've blasphemed against His Holy Ghost being brought to those who need it, especially those who have been dead and never got the chance to even know Jesus. John chapter 18 verse 20. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I always taught in synagogues and in the temple, where all the Jews come together, and I spoke nothing in secret. God loves Mormons, is a false believer and a liar in the eyes of the Lord. God doesn't like liars. I will continue to debunk all invalidated opposition who opposes the ancient works of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 also speaks of baptisms for the dead because on that day of the second coming, Christ will resurrect all the dead. If you believe in God and Jesus, you will know the resurrection will occur. That's why we do the baptisms for the dead. God loves Mormons, isn't a believer and thus doesn't have the Holy Spirit with him or rather, he has driven the Holy Spirit away. However, the truth remains, Christ was resurrected three days after his crucifixion. We baptize the dead because we know they will rise again upon his second coming. Therefore, in these latter days, we are right and correct to care for the dead as well as the living. Otherwise, it will be unfair to them who never got the chance to even know Jesus in the first place. Any snowflakes who are offended will attempt to insult and make fun of me for being a devoted member of the restored church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The words I've spoken are eternally absolute objective truths and facts. Any more slandering about us Latter-day Saints and God will personally deal with you in his own time. Choices have consequences. You can either quit slandering or you will be separated from God. God loves Mormons, has lost this debate and can only rant on while not knowing a thing about the actual beliefs of the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Pity for you, you sound exactly like one of the hell preachers who never brings anything but fear, anger and constant contention. Hypocrite, your hypocrisy is your aggressive weapon. Jesus spoke of you preachers on the streets and those of you who sing loudly in your synagogues to be hypocrites. 
He spoke of paying you no heed and I am here to speak the truth, not to pay any heed to your lies. My testimony in Jesus and of the restored church and the Book of Mormon only grows stronger each time you work your tongues to deceive and to corrupt. The truth remains that the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe in Jesus and in God, our loving Heavenly Father and have the Holy Ghost amongst us at all times. We believe in His atonement aka His sacrifice upon the cross and His resurrection. God the Father lives and so does Jesus Christ, the living Son of God. As you deny the importance of baptism, you have blasphemed, God loves Mormons, and as you play God, you will be disciplined in time. I'm not kidding nor bluffing. You will suffer the consequences of your unjust actions. God will question your action upon your sleep whenever he feels it is right. He will ask you, why do you persecute my beloved children? Like Saul was questioned and blinded, this changed his heart. He became Paul the Apostle. Maybe you deserve the same lesson. It shall come to pass that once your heart is softened instead of hardened towards God's chosen people, the truth will enlighten you. But otherwise, blaspheming especially about the Holy Ghost brings no forgiveness. God loves us indeed and he will show you the error of your ways, one way or another. God never did break his laws. We only say, if he ever did, then he would cease to be God, because it's a big what if to some people out there not to us and you've taken it out of context, which is why you're wrong. Has he broken any of his laws? No, it is people within society who has. The same people who question or assume that God makes mistakes are the same people who blindly attack the saints of God in these latter days by taking our words out of context, making up slanders and also assuming we think God has broken his own laws. It is indeed true that if he ever did, then he would have ceased to be God, because you see, God is perfect, so is Jesus. None of them ever made mistakes. But many false believers such as, God loves Mormons, surely does make up blatant trash about us. Some of them who claim sin is okay without consequences. Some of them claim to be believers too, such as those toxic alphabet cultists. They think homosexuality is normal when it is clearly a sin. Yet they think God is gay or transgender which is distorting his very image. Those so-called believers are the false ones Jesus spoke of, the lukewarm and the hypocrites. Progressive Christianity isn't so progressive. They're the cultish behaving individuals who think they're doing what's right but are wrong and as Latter-day Saints are not going to allow immorality to become a norm. Who's keeping God's commandments? We are. Most Trinitarian sects, as I have witnessed, are now denying the Bible, cherry-picking certain verses but opposing other ones and hating on true believers aka us who deny none of it. Yet they are the ones praising the sinners who are proud in what they do. These false Christs are not all of us members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Just because everyone is doing it, wrong is never right. Words of wisdom from President Russell M. Nelson. Did God ever teach that sin is okay and normal? No, just look at Sodom and Gomorrah along with three other cities of sin back then. Did God not destroy those cities because they were behaving just like today's generations of proud sinners, who willingly choose to be children of perdition instead of God himself? So yeah we aren't blaming God, we are making a point. He never broke any laws. But you have by lying about us Latter-day Saints which makes you the unfortunate one in this debate that has been won by me. God prevails. I tell you, repent of your slandering, God loves Mormons, and the opposition, same with you, or else, you will have to face the consequences from God and Jesus. I testify once more, Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ lives. We have His Holy Ghost with us. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is his true restored church upon this earth. In the name of the living Messiah, who was resurrected three days after his crucifixion, our beloved Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. Song titles, I believe in Christ and Christ is risen by the tabernacle choir. Shalom from one of God's humble disciples, the Latter-day Saint Batman. Alma chapter 38 verses 2, I hope that you will continue in keeping his commandments, for blessed is he that endureth to the end.